The Reflex Easy Logger is available in a variety of core sizes as in indicated on the outside of the label here. And today we're going to show you how to use it to measure the alpha and beta angles of structures within your core with some N2 core that has already been orientated by the ACT core orientation tool system here. To start your measurement, we'll measure the beta position of a structure in this core sample. And we simply insert the core sample inside the Easy Logger and make sure we align the core orientation line with the zero position on the beta protractor as indicated there and is also shown in the downhole arrow line on the top of the Easy Logger. Once you've aligned the orientation line with the zero position, simply measure what angle, beta angle it is to the structure you're interested in and in this case 90 degrees is the beta position. To measure the alpha position of that same structure you simply then slide the core sample back inside the Easy Logger and you have a choice of two colours of uh, alpha angle measurement, red or blue, which are at slightly different angles and you simply pick the one that best fits the structure you're interested in and in this case it is 30 degrees is the alpha measurement and you simply repeat these steps for every structure you're interested on the core sample. When using the Easy Logger and to minimise any potential error it's very important to hold your eyesight as perpendicular to the uh, Easy Logger as you possibly can in the structure you're measuring. In the case of measuring the uh, beta angle, I would hold the Easy Logger as close as I can and line the line up with the zero position uh, as a right angle to my head. And then when measuring the alpha angle, do the same. Hold, your, hold it in your line of sight and fix the structure as best you can, perpendicularly to eyesight to minimise any potential error.